guys, welcome to today's video. Today, Gabrielle and I are hanging out and we are gonna talk to you guys about periods and we are going to show you everything that Gabrielle got uh, when we went shopping for a period kit for school. It's like period slash hygiene kit because there's some other stuff in there too, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, Gabrielle has had a period kit before, um, but I don't know what happened to your old bag. Like we lost it or something. So we needed to make an updated one and that's what we're doing today. So we hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. We'd love to see you as a subscriber. So the first thing is that you guys should all know, um, and kind of we talked about it in our last video, but you guys should all know that puberty and periods and everything that puberty entails for boys, all that stuff is totally normal. Everybody goes through puberty. Everybody as an adult woman, most everybody has a period uh, once a month until you go through menopause, which is usually like when you're way older, like 50s or 60s. Um, so it's like a totally normal thing. So I know that it can be a little bit uncomfortable or awkward to talk about, but our hope is that if we talk about it to you guys, that maybe you guys will give you a little bit of information and then if you have any additional questions, talk to a parent, talk to a school nurse. I mean, I just really want everybody to have somebody that they can talk to and ask questions about. There's also some really cool um, books that I have always recommended. I've always given them to the girls. I've read all the books. She's read all the books? All the books. I think the books are by American Girl, um, but I'll double check. Like I said, if I can find them online or somewhere, I'll link them down in the description box below. But I've been giving those to the girls I mean, they've had them since they were like really young, like seven, eight years old. Um, and it just talks about puberty and talks about um, periods and changes with your body and all that stuff again is totally normal. So try not to be embarrassed about it. It's not awkward. We're all in this together. Um, so as far as periods go, if you did not know, and I know I kind of just said this, but if you did not know, most women get a period every month. It can last anywhere from like three to seven days on average. Sometimes it can be heavy, sometimes it can be light. Usually when you are like a teenager or when like you first start getting your period, um, it's not very heavy. It's sometimes gonna be kind of spotty. Sometimes you'll skip a month. That's again, totally normal. Um, if you're having any like painful cramps or anything like that makes you feel like it would be abnormal, you know, that would be something to talk to your parents about and maybe go see the doctor. But most of the stuff is totally normal. So just to try not to stress about it and just let your body do its thing. So I decided that I needed to have a new period kit just because I lost my previous one. And I think that it would be really handy to just have one on you just in case like you start at school or anywhere in public. Like so. traveling, like, I mean, I know I take a bunch of stuff to like work with me. Mom's got me prepared over here. Yeah, <laughs> I, we're, we're all about being prepared. We're like Boy Scouts over here. Um, so first things first, if you're making a period kit and you can totally use a Ziploc if you're like just looking that at something leaving it in your car or it's for work um, but it's kind of fun to have a fun little bag so when we went shopping Gabrielle picked out this really cute it's like mint with gold and it has a little tassel on it show up close to the design. it has some detail we'll on it I don't know like if the camera this. will focus little leaves it's pretty so this is really cool um, she really liked it it's actually a really great size because it is flat I mean it'll obviously expand when we put stuff in it but it's just good because you can fit it in your backpack or suitcase when oh, we're traveling. Show the inside. I, I specifically is it a different color? It had like, um, so it's like felt oh. on the inside, but it's got like. And organizational items. pockets. Yeah. And it has even has like a zipper pocket. So yours doesn't have to be this fancy. Um, like I said, you could use a Ziploc in a pinch. Um, but this is something that never liked. So we picked it out. The bag. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like my favorite part. It is? <laughs> it's just the bag. Oh, I like the bag. She likes the bag. It's her favorite <laughs> part. So I have a little basket with all the things that we're gonna be putting in this kit for her. Um, some of the stuff we're gonna have to open because you're not gonna put like an yeah, entire box no. of pads in there. Um, so we'll do that kind of as we go. Um, but the first thing that you guys are probably gonna want is you're gonna wanna, whether you use a Ziploc bag as your like kit bag or not, you're gonna wanna put an extra Ziploc bag in there. Um, just in case you start your period and you need to change your underwear, you're gonna wanna put your old underwear in a plastic bag and then you're gonna wanna bring an extra pair of underwear. So what I usually do is I fold it up so it's like kind of tiny, and then you have like a little pocket in there, right? Yes. Like so, maybe the zipper pocket. Let's put it in the zipper pocket. Yeah, because this is like when you fold it up, it's super tiny, and we can just kind of stick it in the side there, and you can leave the zipper pocket open because we might put some more stuff in there, um, and then you just have an extra pair of underwear. Um, I always recommend my girls, and I wear cotton underwear because I guess it's it's supposed to be the healthiest for you, breathable. I know they make underwear in like all spandex. They like, can get spandex underwear. You can get thong underwear. I don't recommend wearing thong underwear when you're in your period. Pads don't really work for that. Um, wearing a tampon I guess would be okay, but I'm just not a huge fan. So 
Cotton underwear are definitely the best way to go. Right. Since we're on the topic of underwear, I'm really into the Jimbery like boy cut shorts underwear. That's yeah, like, it's, we, it's like my favorite. You guys. She's gonna be grown out of them pretty soon. So Jimbery is like that it's store like at the mall. It's like wearing pajamas. Yeah, they have a lot of like kids clothes, but they actually go up to a size 16, which I think is like a woman's small. Um, and Gabrielle's like a women's extra small right now. So she's been buying their underwear because they're cotton and they're like little boy shorts um, they're and they're so super comfy. comfortable. I think Crazy Eight has them too. They go up to a size 16. So if you are still in those sizes, you can totally find those there. I think Justice goes up to like size 18 or 20. Or you can just buy like in the women's department and get us extra small or small. Um, I think an extra small is like a, the comparable size. It's like a size 14. In like the girls juniors department so and then a small is like a size 16 in the girls yeah department. yeah a small would be like i think a 16 so you know you can kind of play around with that but same thing with the underwear i roll them up really small so let's actually put these in the little pocket right here with the zip lock because that's yeah. like you know in its own little area so we did that the next thing that you guys are going to want to put in there obviously is going to be pads and or tampons i know for me personally when i'm on my period i will alternate between the two um just kind of depends on what i'm doing and what i feel like um, and like, you know, how we're in the cycle it is. Cause sometimes if it's really heavy, I, it just, you know, I, maybe I wouldn't want to wear a pad and want to wear a tampon instead or vice versa. It just depends on what you're comfortable with. Um, we got some always radiant, uh, I guess the teen pads, um, one. with wings, love the wings. Cause then they don't like move around in your underwear. Um, so we're going to put a couple of those in there. Every, every book is going to tell you when you first start your period, just get the one. Just get the ones with the wings. Like it's yeah. just, it's wings are really awesome. Um, so how many do you think we need? Like three? Like I guess like when you start like your, your, when you first start your period at school, like you it's like, not like super heavy or anything. Like, so, so we'll put like two or three in there. I think um, I think that should be fine. So we'll just do that. But yeah, the ones with wings are great. Another tip: um, don't get scented ones. Try to stay away from those. Those really aren't that good for you. Um, plus, like this, they're just gross. Like try not to get those. You don't want them. Um, yeah, you really don't want them and then they have different like thicknesses and stuff too These are pretty thin and they're just like I think regular absorbency if you Bleed a lot um, They I mean you, they have like it gets heavier like if you look yeah. at the front of this like you see how it like gets like Bigger in the package. No, like on the front it has the different okay. sizes So like if you like need them for overnight you might need you might need the longer ones for overnight um, But during the day just like these little regular regular ones are fine. So that's what Gabrielle has um, plus they come in these cute little things. Little designs are cute on these. So another thing that you're probably going to want to put in there, or maybe not, again, it's totally up to you. Um, if you use tampons, um, I usually like to throw one or two in there. I mean, at least for me. Um, so we have again, um, like some regular absorbency tampons. I think you probably just need like one in there. Cause really, again, this is like kind of an emergency or you're out traveling kit. You don't need to have like all the supplies for your whole period because you're not going to be gone the whole day, hopefully wherever where you, you know, wherever you are. So we got the compact ones. It's like the pocket pearls. Um, because they're really good like to fit in small things like this is really like the size of your finger so this is like perfect so we're gonna put one of those in there we'll put it in the pocket too size of my pinky yeah <laughs> <laughs> so they're perfect for that and then also another uh, another good thing to throw in there um, and we just got the Huggies cleansing wipes but they have like summer's eve ones and a bunch of other different choices I just wanted to make sure that they were unscented um, but if you get your period and you're at school or you're at work or whatever um, it's sometimes helpful to have like a wipe like a wet wipe like if it's messy um to clean up with since you're not at home and you can't like take a shower necessarily like if you're if you can't get to a shower or anything like that these can be really helpful so this is its own little travel pack we picked these up in like the travel toiletry department where they sell the hand sanitizer the yeah toothbrushes. we're getting there we're gonna get the hand sanitizer i know that's I'm sorry. <laughs> sneak peek <laughs> so we're gonna throw these in there too and I mean honestly these are great like in a pinch you can take off makeup with these um, you can use them really for anything. for anything like wash your hands if you if you lost your sanitizer or whatever you need need something to wash your hands or face with these are awesome so I'll put those in there um, something else that you may want to bring or you may want to think about bringing um, is either some Midol or Tylenol or um, Motrin, whatever works best for you if you have painful periods and cramping. Um, we like to use Midol. Uh, Gabrielle, I don't think has taken it yet, but I have taken it pretty regularly. So if you 
want to, you know, throw some of these in your bag, that's not a terrible idea. Just be careful if you attend a school that has restrictions on like bringing medicine. I know some schools like say you have to keep it at the nurse's office. So you just would want to check to make sure that um, it's not something, not a rule at your school that you would have to do that if you still go to school. So we're just going to put like one package of this in Gabrielle's bag because like I said, this isn't just for school. We're going to be taking this when we travel and stuff too. So um, we'll check with her school though because I actually haven't checked yet because I don't think this what you didn't bring like pink killers to your other in your other bag right yeah. yeah but some schools care some schools don't and they'll all let you take it some will just want it to be like at the nurse's office and then so that you know if you need it you can go get it from them because they don't want people to like carry it around and I, I totally get that so we have a few more things for our kit that we definitely want to include. We talked about hand sanitizer, which is a great thing to have. Um, Gabrielle actually found one that had a lid. A cap. A cap, so it won't come off, because I have this huge pet peeve. You've had several scenarios. Yeah, with these hand sanitizers <laughs> that, you know like the, where they, the lid like pops up? They leak, like they even, some of them even have that little thing that like you hook to your backpack. Every single time we bought one of those for Gabrielle's backpack or for her sisters, it never worked. They leak and then it gets this stuff, and especially if it's been scented before. So like, it'll be pink and have like stuff in it and it'll get all over the backpacks and ruin it. So we just bought a clear unscented one and it has this really awesome lid that I mean, if I can't even get it off right now, it's definitely not gonna leak. You literally have to like, squeeze it for it. To yeah, it's like a pump something. bottle instead of like it just coming out of the lid. So you loose. can control the amount. Yeah, so definitely recommend this. So we're gonna put that in there too. And our bag, like if you guys look, it's not even like super full yeah. yet. She can definitely fit it's still got a, a bunch more room. stuff in here. So you did a really good job picking a good size for this, yeah. I think. So we have a few more things and we're just gonna kind of get into some hygiene stuff now that's just good to have always in your purse or backpack. Um, because this is such a handy little like kind of personal hygiene kit, not just a period kit, uh, we wanted to include, or Gabrielle did, because she lived that braces life for like three years. That hardcore braces life. Braces <laughs> life. I mean, and her smile looks so great now, you guys. Leave so her a comment great. letting her know how beautiful her smile is. <laughs> Mom and dad yeah. took, took a lot of time and effort and driving her to appointments and everything to have that beautiful smile. Um, <laughs> But because she had braces, she used to always carry floss, which actually I don't have floss in here, but that might also be a good thing to carry. But she wants to put in a travel toothbrush and some toothpaste. So if she gets something in her teeth at lunch or something, she can go to the bathroom and brush her teeth. So I want to share something cool about this toothbrush. Actually. Sure. So I don't know if you guys can see it on the toothbrush, but it's kind of got like a little white grip and then you can just kind of pop it open. Yeah, it won't get anything wet because it like opens. It, just, it like holds it, but always make sure you dry off your toothbrush before you put it back in because it gets moldy. Yeah, well that, ew. Yeah, it probably would get gross, but yeah, because it like off. is enclosed, because yeah. it like goes it's, back it, in. It like sucks in. Yeah, so make sure you just dry it off, but um, yeah, this is a great thing to have. And then another thing we're gonna throw in there, here, put those in. Yeah. Let's put those, yep, let's put okay. them in the pocket. Okay. And then another thing we're gonna throw in, um, which is great to have, especially if you have like PE and stuff at school, a little mini travel deodorant. That is good. Because sometimes, I don't know about you guys, but I forget to put deodorant on all the time. Okay. Same season. Like, right? I think I forgot to put it on yesterday. Yeah, I forget all the time. Um, and apparently so does Gabrielle. So it always is nice to have one of these. I have one of these in my gym bag and I keep one in my purse too. Um, so Gabrielle, I don't even think this has a scent yeah. to it. I think so you got an unscented one. I would go with the invisible, yeah. like roll on. It's just the quickest and nonsense. Yeah, no white marks, um, clear finish. So yeah, so this is a great thing to put in there and it's super tiny, so it'll fit in your bag. And then we have a few more things. You're like that are helpful. Let me put this down because I just grabbed them all. Will it fit? Yeah, it fits. Perfect. Beautiful. We're, this is going to be like exactly filled. Like you guys, it still okay. has room, but it's like getting kind of full now, but it'll be perfect. So Gabrielle was really smart about this. We were at, as I'm dropping it, we were at Target shopping and she said that one of her friends always brings a Tide pen to school because when you spill like something on yourself at lunch, which is like the story of my life and apparently the story of Gabrielle's <laughs> life because she's always borrowing her friend's Tide pen, she said. So a Tide pen is a really, really great thing to have because like today, I borrowed this from Gabrielle right before we shot this video. Not for this direction, I ended up changing my shirt because I got it wet too. Um, but we were eating dinner and I had pizza and I completely like drop some on myself and this thing totally got the stain out right away. So if you're out and about and you stain your shirt on accident, this is a lifesaver. And it's tiny and you can throw it in your bag. So we're just gonna throw it in there. Okay, but be responsible with the children. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, yeah, don't let don't let it around little kids if you have siblings <laughs> or something. I mean, it definitely has. Just for clothes. Is it bleach? I don't know what's in here. I it has, I mean, whatever magic is in these Tide pens that it gets works. stuff out, it definitely works. <laughs> so we're gonna throw that in there. 
Um, and then Gabrielle mentioned in her other kit, and this is so funny because we were getting ready to film this video, she was like, well, my other kit, I always would keep candy in there. <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna throw in some mini size, and you can put a full size candy yeah, bar or something in your bag, but we just had these in our house. Um, so we're gonna throw some candy in there because sometimes you just want some candy. Some candy. You know? And that's it. I think um, we'll show you guys. You see, like, it still has a little bit of room if you needed to put something else, but this is perfect for oh, her. You have to zip, zip up the inside zipper. Oh, inside zipper. Zip that first. Zipper. And let me close this zipper. <laughs> and this is it, guys. And it's not even that So it's not even that thick. It's still pretty, pretty slim. And um, it's cute too. It's super cute. I really like the size of this. And honestly, if she took it out of her backpack to go to the bathroom, it actually just looks like a clutch. Like it doesn't even look like, like a handbag. Like it's not like, yeah. it doesn't look like, it's not labeled. It almost looks like it. a, <laughs> right, right. It almost looks like a makeup bag. Yeah. Like, right. Your makeup's in here. You're gonna Which again, you know, that's another thing that yeah. you could also put in here too. Like if you um, have a bag big enough, you could put your <laughs> lipstick and like face powder or whatever um, in here too. Cause you're probably doing that in the bathroom too. So there's so many well, things right. that you can put in here. If you guys have a period kit, um, let me know what you put in it. Like, cause I'm, I would be interested to see what other people put in theirs. Yeah, I would right? know, tell us. So tell us in the comments below. Um, this is kind of what we do, but I know, like I said, everybody's different and does different things. So let us know. And I think that's it, right? Yeah. This is it. So if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment down below and subscribe if you're not already. And we'll leave the links, oh, to Gabrielle's channel down in the description box below, um, along with our social medias and all that kind of stuff. We're on Instagram all the time, so make sure you check us out over there. And I guess we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye.